Captain's Log, Stardate 192.168.1.9. I am joined by my ever present and loyal science officer, Zed Tech. Hello, how are you doing, buddy? I'm good, Captain. I, I, I see that you are doing well today. I am doing very well. I feel good in my welding mask here. It h hides me from the harsh environment that we appear to be building into here. This desert over this way. Ooh, I'm not sure actually covering myself head to toe in metal is the best plan whilst living in a desert. But I'm going to do with it anyway because it's what the captain school has taught me. <laughs> uh, today we have uh, all sorts of production goals set out. For starters, this desert, I think like it needs a layer of concrete over it. I'm not sure how you feel about that. Make a place that's extremely hot, hotter by covering it in concrete. Seems yeah, it's to stop the water seeping into the floor. Uh, mm. it's, it's really what I'm trying to stop. Uh, we also have a, a little bit of a shortage of certain types of belts. If we wander all the way over to the side here, and I'm going to start talking a little bit slower and putting more gaps in my words so that we can just get all the way down to the <laughs> side here. You can see that we've been making some belts, uh, but unfortunately... We've only been making belts and underground belts. We haven't actually made any splitters. And looking around, we appear to use an awful lot of splitters. So I think that's where we should start working uh, today. Okay, Captain. Um, oh, the real question well. is, do we want to like try and use this space here? Or do we want to go build sank on the end? Uh, the problem is we do need circuits and there's no circuits in that area. So basically put it on the end. Uh, so what does a splitter need? A splitter needs... Uh, five plates, five circuits, and four transport belts. Alright, that's those. Sweet. So, Captain. Science officer. I feel like that and that is the uh, ideal layout there. I agree. And it's functioning? Yes? <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Wonderful splitters achieved. That was that was nice and quick. Uh, we do have a little bit of a problem here with the uh, circuits not moving on, but I think that's fairly easy to yeah. There we go, fix like that. Wonderful. Two, three, four, five. Bring these on. Okay, there we go. The uh, the bus moves on. What's next? What is next? So I believe the next on our list is actually red belts, because now that we've sorted out all the uh, the full list of things we want to do, we want to do them faster. Or at least I feel like we do, especially the iron line. The, uh, the iron line could definitely do with an upgrade to red. Uh, as I feel, I feel like it could wear out at any point. Well, red Run is quite simple to make, actually. Indeed. Transport belt and iron gears. I feel like we can have an entire processing plant just here for red items. Now, um, have we have a choice, Captain. Oh, choices are my specialty. Let me make that decision. We can either move everything we just said and put in a chest that we don't need it on a belt. Put it on a belt to transport it to a location where we're going to be producing red belt. Or... Yep. Have a separate production of that for the red belt. <laughs> well, uh, I, hmm, that is a choice. I, I feel like we should make a separate production. Okay. Yes, yes, we, we'll we'll make this massive monstrosity of feeding machines all feeding down to each other. I mean, we we have been warned that when machines start feeding machines, we need to be worried. And this, this does lead me on to uh, one of our classic ethical dilemmas that we have in Fact Tokyo here. Um, um, what? <laughs> Fact Tokyo. I, I like it. It's, it's what I'm calling the planet here. Uh, it's, uh, oh, the planet. Oh, okay. Planet Fact Tokyo. Uh, <laughs> so it's not Sorry. one of your things that you're recording for the public quotation Marcotis. No, no. This is this this is for this is for public record of the galactic nature. We're, we call this place Fact Tokyo. And my question to you, science officer, is if we are just on the on the verge of creating an artificial intelligence, but by accident, it wasn't actually the aim of the goal. Say that 
uh, the 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 great and ancient search engine of Google uh, decided to put some sort of uh, self self improving code into its search algorithm, but then you noticed that it was doing um, weird pattern behavior that looked an awful lot like consciousness coming out. Would you, if you thought that this machine was going to become conscious? stop it because of the dangers i mean let's let's remember that we have no idea what a super intelligent ai race or even an individual could possibly do if it comes into emergence and decides that we are not worthy i mean we've we've looked at human history for for a long time and just just on the strengths of memes alone surely the ai would want to kill us well so uh, the problem is of uh, so we are developing it on accident. And yes. No, it becomes an accident. And you, and you did give me a scenario why I did that. One, I will give. Uh, I would want to know the person who determined that uh, the, the 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 patterns were actually consciousness and give him a Nobel Prize. Oh, uh, let, let's assume that that Nobel Prize has also already been given out. Uh, let's go with brain simulation has been done, but we've never actually created a, a unique AI. Okay. I know that's quite a tenuous situation there. <laughs> <laughs> it's a quite specific situation. <laughs> it is quite a specific... The, the actual specific situation that has led me to think this is... If you had done it by accident once before and the AI just happens to be benign and wants to help humanity and then you see another one coming along but you don't know why the first one was helpful, do you stop the second one? Oh, my. Because, uh, like, you would be like, oh, they're two brothers, okay? But I, I personally, Captain Twitchy, have two brothers as well uh, and n n neither of them are anything like me. We kind of look similar, but our... our our outlook on life is is massively different. I could I could definitely see one of my brothers wanting to wipe out humanity while another one wants to help, you know? I think we're going back to the problem where society needs to decide on this and basically put either people in jail or ex execute them. That is the, yeah, that is the question. Like we have uh, in the 20th century as a society, people decided that human cloning was not to be a thing that done that was ever done now at the time they had these things called the ethics boards which told people which uh which experiments they could and could not partake in i'm not even sure how they enforce that <laughs> now, now that i've taken a moment to stop and think about it if someone in 20th century america was like actually i want to clone a human who would stop them uh it's something that cannot be enforced technically but when caught, would be enforceable. Yeah, yeah, it just seems a little... So as long as the person that's being cloned does not appear in public with its clone, it's going to be fine? Well, you would always imagine that a clone is going to be significantly younger than the original, uh, because obviously the, the original... You, you would imagine someone has at least partially consented along the line. Well, uh, then like, it's not a clone. Yes, you can, yeah. Clone is a perfect copy. Ah, oh, but it, there will still be an age difference. Yeah, but like yeah, one appearance, like and memory, like it will be the same person. Mm, oh, ah, uh, that that the whole question of whether a clone has the memories that that's an interesting. Well, then no, no, no. We we make them without memories, but then we implant them because that's the cloning process. Okay, yeah, we we scan scan the clonee's brain. That's, that's what I'm going to call him, okay. the clone <laughs> uh, And then we have a different question is, if that clone then goes and commits plastic surgery, is it now a different person? The, ooh, well, no, I don't believe so. I, so. I believe... So are you a clone just because you have the same DNA then? Yes. Yeah, I think I think that actually counts as the definition. I did this the wrong way around. Uh, I think that counts as the definition of cloning, is the the whole DNA okay. issue. Oh, this. Sorry, is... I'm currently trying to rebalance the iron belt because it's all coming through on one side. <laughs> this is leading to some stilted conversation. Oh man, that's a mess, but I did it. <laughs> okay, Should we back to the 
should we basically delete it or stifle the progress of an AI that we didn't intend on having? Yes. Do do you want to accidentally give birth to use big inverted commas accidentally give birth to the end of the human race? Well, people have been saying that nuclear weapons would be an end to human race, but it's not happened so far. Yeah. I agree. I agree. I mean, like, just look at this barren wasteland here. <laughs> it's never, never suffered from the touch of an atomic blast. It's perfectly natural. There's fish in the lake. As I hope they don't have free eyes, but I should imagine so. Good, good, strong, natural, <laughs> good, strong, natural growth of fish. Everyone knows when they get exposed to radiation, three eyes pop forth. Yeah, I mean, uh, there's no other. I mean, Chernobyl didn't teach us anything, right? I mean, all of those trees are still functioning perfectly normally. Yeah, yeah, of and course. there's still animal life there, and... I mean, it's I mean there is definitely still animal life there. I'm not sure how well they're doing, but that's, they're there. I, 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 some scientists did say that they were doing better because humans were not no longer there, but yeah. That, that would work, that would work. Oh, batteries are finished. Oh my. So I'm feeling that this next bit here would be where you make the underground and splitters, and then you've got all the raw materials for making the reds underneath. Yeah, so th that's the problem. If I put it underneath, I cannot expand. Everything by now was made to be expandable. Expandable, yes. Yeah, so if we go along and have a look at some of these others, there is no reason that we couldn't just bring these uh, belts further down and put more more factory in front of them to get further production, yeah. That said, we've got splitters here. I don't think we need to make splitters over here. Just to make things even more awkward. Yeah, that's gonna make it more awkward. I think I have a solution. We're gonna need a special factory just to produce gears and put it on a belt, so we don't just plunk it into a set different factory, because red belts also need gears. This is where gears are gonna be made. Good. Iron plates and gears on this side, so we can put belt production on this end. Okay, so belts are gonna be pr produced on this end and taken down here. So, as I see it, we just need these two here and these two here to produce belts. Okay, underground doesn't need any circuits yet. It needs belts and iron plates. Okay, let's do the same thing again as with, with, the, with the gears. Okay, now we are taking this down here, putting another two factories right here and here. And taking in belts and iron plates for undergrounds. So now we're producing undergrounds, belts, and gears. For the uh, fast transport belts, we just need normal belts and iron gears. Let's put the factories here for the red belts. Like that. This is actually a hard problem to solve. It is, isn't it? We need belts and iron gears. Let's get those combined in one place by using a filter. Expandable! <laughs> it is expandable, yes. <laughs> oh, God. No spaghetti involved at all. Okay. Should we just put it in a chest? Uh, red belts. Oh, I could see us needing red belts for other stuff as well. Uh, there is no recipe that requires red belts yet. No, okay. All right, I, I am wrong. I, I would have thought that maybe the undergrounds or the splitters would need, but no, um, they need the yellow version. So that's yeah. that's all good. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's just let's just box them up. I've got a, got a wooden box here. Now we're cooking with gears. Now we're <laughs> cooking with gears. <laughs> now we're making with assembly machines. Woo! <laughs> Which is is it enough gear production? Wait. <laughs> it's getting there <laughs> it is definitely getting there actually i want two stacks ready to go rather than one but that's good right red belts are good uh <laughs> next thing red undergrounds red underground 40 gears i think we that need is more a gears. Lot of gears i think we might need more gears as well i'm looking at this i'm wondering how we're going to get it up onto this belt uh long a uh, long output inserters and this wonderful well, I can do that. Oh, we can't do this. I just realized. <laughs> belts on belts. 
no, no, this, this, this. Yeah, there you go. It, it works. It works. It does work. <laughs> now, the real question is, do we get to stay fully stocked all the way up here? Probably. If an artificial intelligence is being developed accidentally... Would you stop it? And I, I, I think it boils down to, as... As a puny human who is easily socially influenced, it would all depend what the TV was saying. If that does happen, I don't think humans can do anything about it. It's already too late. You think it's late. already too late? Yeah, I, I might be inclined to agree with you there, yeah. Because I don't know. we weren't prepared uh, to contain it in the first place. Yes. So, yeah, if it was an accident, then I mean, especially if following the example, it was the Google search algorithm because it's already connected to everything. But it will understand that one, they're going to be scared of me. Two, mm -hmm. they cannot do anything about it me right now. That does not mean that they will not try in doing something. Well, that that is the question. If. If you suddenly find yourself with, you know, it's too late, you've made the AI, and you're, you're beginning to suspect that it's going to try and kill everyone, how, how far do you go on pulling the plug? Like, do you take down the internet trying to save humanity? Bearing in mind, at this point in the year 2600, the, the internet is going to be more than it was in the 20th century. It's going to be much more integrated with daily life. Um... Do... Do you stop all that just to try and stop someone trying to kill you? I mean, I'd, I'd possibly say yes. Some, someone out there would make the call that it's keep the human race alive no matter what. Okay, so there's one thing. In Finland, there was already an underground vault keeping all of the data offline and occasionally yes. rewriting information, all of the important information. But never keeping, when it's online, it's never connected to the hard drives that are keeping it. So if, even if there is malicious hard uh, software there that wants to wipe it all off, it can't because it's physically disconnected. Predicted. Yeah, okay. So, okay. humans will not lose all of the data. That's one. Second choice, you cannot just go and just go to a power plant and unplug it. That's not we as human humans are. We know there are the bad humans that want to do that. So let's do yeah. which is physically most hardest to accomplish to turn it off. Par just blowing it off, blowing it off. Well, that 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 is an option. <laughs> like I I could very well see um, an American, Russian, Japanese, Iranian. Um, general going, you know what, I think we need to nuke all the power sites. I, yeah, but I wouldn't nuke them directly. I would have an atmospheric explosion causing an EMP. Well, that's not... Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. The EMP, the AI. The, the, ooh. But he's a super intelligent... Or it, sorry. With, let's not get gender specific here. <laughs> uh, it, it would... It would very quickly realise that that is a, a threat and try and build itself some EMP shielded uh, area. I'm not sure how well you could, it could do that, but it is super more intelligent than we yeah, are. I so. understand it's super more intelligent, but apart from actually testing it, we don't know even if our current methods of preventing an EMP work, actually. This is true. Well, why aren't we testing that? I feel like this is something we need to know. Because there was a ban on nuclear testing. Ah. <laughs> uh, and the only people that can actually do that is in that era was North Korea. I mean, I, I do see that they have a glorious future in nuclear weapons research. Or not even nuclear weapons, nuclear research. As they are the only only country that could do these things. Automobilism. Yeah, nice. I think you would like a car. Oh, I would love a car. Some, some way of driving around, keeping an eye on the peons, making sure everything works well. Crash into every <laughs> single building and pile on. Yeah, I mean, especially going through this sort of area. I think I might hit a few things here. Yeah, Ooh, we appear to be short of iron. Look at this. Actually, no, we're not. Split. No, 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 no. We're not transporting fast enough. Let's start replacing the belts because we, do our, we are producing them. We are indeed. I'm going to start with this lot. Whee! <laughs> there we go. First red belts placed. 
That is absolutely amazing. Do we have any red splitters? That's I the next don't question. Think we do. All right, that should probably be how we end the uh, this. I'm trying to avoid the word episode here. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why are you trying to avoid the word episode? I mean, oh. I mean, you established, <laughs> Captain, that you you are recording something, and I'm gonna support you in that. <laughs> Yes, because, thank you. <laughs> because the last thing you want to do is annoy a crazy person. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not crazy. How dare you? Exactly. You're not crazy. That we did get massively sidetracked, but I think I've gone through and replaced everything that was easy to replace with red on the iron line. We do appear to be a little bit spread out. Oh, look. Here's the problem. is We are bunching up behind this splitter. Yep. Which unfortunately means red splitters. Well, anyway, science officer, I do believe with the upgrading of the red belts here, we have um, finished what we set out to do at the beginning. We, we could do with some red splitters, but we'll work on that next time, I think. Next time, sir? Next time, tomorrow, when the sun goes down and the sun still shines, we'll okay. get on with all that happens and things. But yes, until next time, Captain's Log, signing off. <laughs>